Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hello, Melissa. Goedemiddag, Annette. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Mona. Hi, Noel. Kenny, I'm happy too that I'm coloring in this book. I did one page. Uh, that was a disaster with the background. This one. I was doing the background with my pastel pencils and they picked up the color up from everything around it. Not when I was doing it. Hi Robin, how are you? I hope you are better um, after I did it. So like here it's like a muddy color. I already started to erase the background but well <laughs> it is a lot of work. Hi Emily. So, but I want to keep some of my coloring plans, so I picked this page for today. Uh, the Mimosa. I did a little bit of work on my froggy in the stories of Atlantis. I did another layer on the froggy, so I see a little bit um, greener. I did a little bit of blue and I'm thinking about the rest, so... I think it needs a little bit more work, but I'm not sure what to do with it. It's a little bit darker than it looks on the camera. There's more color on the... Yeah, I call it a rock. I don't know what it is, but... Uh, a piece of dirt floating in the water. <laughs> Hi, Mandy! I hope I'm not missing people. So, yeah, maybe some ink or something. I'm not sure yet. So, for today, and I was thinking, first I thought I will use my um, Holbein again, because in the front of the book, they show you Holbeins. But, I decided not to. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kenny. I went for the Arctic, so I have my Arctic here. I already started. I hope you don't mind that. Hi, Anna. I hope you had a lovely uh, day with your friends <laughs> the other day. Um, but uh, that's only a bit. So I hope you don't mind it. I tried some pencils already on the page. It will help me to get it uh, covered one day. <laughs> so... I didn't color much. Good morning, Renee. Uh, because I loved your jewelry box, by the way. Yesterday, I had a bad day with my shoulder. I have to move that page a little bit. I want to do the part with the deer here. I think that's lovely. <laughs> Just a little picture for me to color. <laughs> But today it's a little better, so it's good. <laughs> Makes me happy that it's a little better today. So I'm not sure about the colors yet. Because we are doing... Uh, well, n not me, because I cannot do it. Hi Dawn, with my arm. But Jan is uh, doing some painting and other things in the house. But I'm helping. Uh, here is this and here is that. Um, I, I make the food and everything. So... <laughs> I'm supportive. I'm supportive. So, yeah. Uh, what shall we do? I think the light umber will maybe a greater deer or the sienna brown. Yeah, that, that that's not going to go away, Kenny. That will stay there, that shoulder. So, I have to learn to live with it. And I have better and... Um, better days and days that are not so good so it's fine i will try and live with it <laughs> maybe this one is nice they are still pretty new to me so I'm not too familiar with the colors yet i'm trying by using them more maybe this one 
So I have a couple of browns here. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, Kenny. Yeah, getting older. Hi, Marcy. <laughs> sorry, I missed you earlier. So what I have is iron oxide brown, light umber, dark brown, beige, golden rot, and burnt ochre. Maybe I need a cream or something. Is there a cream? Yeah. And maybe white. There's cream and there's white. So let's start with this. <laughs> and of course, hi Louise. I'm not sure about the beige because it looks, it looks a little skin color to me and that's not what I'm after. There is that beige color. There is a camel that's maybe better. Let me try and find it. That's a green one. I think it's this. No. The the outside looks so different than the point. So I take the camel and the Bavar Bavarian cream also and we will see what will come of it. <laughs> uh, I start with the is this a golden rod? Um I need a piece of paper just to try my pencils on. I always save all my scrap paper to use my pencils on. So <laughs> it is a bit a little bit of yellowish but it's a bit scratchy too. <laughs> we will see what we can do. I do it light. I start light. I start light. You will not see a lot in the beginning. So yeah, the house is in need of uh, an upgrade. <laughs> Everything is old and a little bit, well, I'm not saying dirty, but yeah. It needs work. <laughs> it needs work. The colors are not fresh any longer. Um, one point we painted a lot of stuff. Uh, I had curtains with hydrangeas on it, blue ones. So I painted a lot of, then I could do it. I painted a lot of things green with blue accents and it looked lovely with the curtains and everything. But the curtains are long gone and the blue and green paint is still there. So we want to go back to a, um, a nice off-white. So the blue and the green have to come off. <laughs> but we do it in little baby steps. Baby steps. No hurry. Uh, enjoy your coffee, Renee. I had one before I came on stream because I was feeling a little bit sleepy. I had a bad night, so... Yeah, not much sleep. So... I needed a coffee too. I think I do it all over also on the parts that I want to be light but they need color so I put the same color on it. Not on the inside of the ear but the belly is much lighter with a with a bumpy ear but not really really white so little bit of color. I hope it's a nice cup, Renee. <laughs> what is this? This is the iron oxide brown. How dark is it? And this one... I go for this one first. You didn't sleep well. I didn't sleep well. <laughs> We all have problems. So this is the light umber. I'm going to make it a little darker. I want to layer so I'm coloring really really light. I 
I don't know how much um, pencil the paper will take, so I start light. I don't want to fill it right away. And I think when you look at the um, it's not the skin, but the, the the fur of a deer. It has a lot of colors in it, so maybe layering with different colors make it nice. It doesn't have to be realistic because the animals are not really realistic, but you want to have the idea that it is a deer. <laughs> a bumby. A bumby deer. Did you know that they made a kind of a scary movie with Ben with Bambi? I'm not into scary movies. <laughs> I want Bambi to be nice. <laughs> nice and cute. <laughs> not a killer deer. <laughs> Don't want him to be a killer deer. Don't like it. They say in that movie he is taking revenge at the uh, hunters that killed his mama. So, yeah. Yeah, I stick with my, sti with my nice Bambi as well. I know him so long, for so many years, so, yeah, <laughs> that one is staying. Morning, Shannon, how are you today? I think I saw that you were on last night, but, well, I was not home because I was dancing, so I missed it. And I didn't have the time yet to look at it, but I saw something on my computer. Is there anybody in for a scary movie with Bambi? <laughs> I don't know why they have to do that. I know there are more. There is uh, there is one with Hansel and Gretel. Um, what was the other one? Snow White. I think there's one with Snow White. And something with someone with Little Red Riding Hood? I don't remember. But they were not from Disney, they were um, other filmmakers. No, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but we should be nice. It's scary enough in the the other movie with the hunters that kills the mum. I don't remember it myself, but my mother told me that I was in tears when I saw Bambi the first time. Because he was there all alone without his mum. And he was oh, the cutest thing ever. <laughs> and I was little. No, we want we want a nice Bambi, <laughs> a cute one. 
Mm -hmm. and now this may be a little red. Well, I try a little bit of this. This is the burnt ochre. It's a little more red. It has a little more red in it. Well, we have still have that problem here with the with the wolves. Uh, we have now in a tiny, tiny space of nature, seven. Uh, we call them rudels. I don't know seven groups of wolves and that's the, I think the only nature space that we have that have a wild uh, boars and wild deer and because that there are now so many wolves they are uh, having a big problem because yeah, the wolves don't have an enemy and they are protected. Nobody is allowed to shoot or do anything to them. And these wolves, they are not nice. They kill for fun. Um, they kill a lot of sheep from farmers. Uh, sometimes in one night they kill about 10 to 20 sheep just to kill them. So that's a big, big problem here at the moment. Hi Tonya. But also for the deer that are living in that tiny nature space that we have. And now there are so many wolves. And they cannot go anywhere because there are uh, fences around a lot of the of the space. So yeah, they are a sitting duck. So yeah. Not nice. And I think that problem is going bigger and bigger because the wolves still keeping uh, having babies. So, yeah. We will have less deer, less boars. So, they need to do something about it because it will get out of hand really soon. Yeah, it is niet normaal. Het, uh, maar het zijn er veel te veel op zo'n klein stukje. Too many wolves on the little space. It's not, not normal. In a country with so many people and just a little, little piece of nature. No, it's not... Uh, it's not good. It's not working. And one of the days, these days, they will... They will, um, they will kill a little girl or a little boy. I think that will happen. And then, maybe then they will listen. Have a good day, Anna. And I know that there are uh, people over there in the US that say, well, we have Yellowstone and we have wolves. Yeah, but there is a big difference. <laughs> you have Yellowstone, that's big. And we have a tiny little space. It's that big. <laughs> yeah, something has to happen first before they will listen. We don't have space for wolves. We don't have space for them. I'm sorry, but we don't have the space. We are too small. It will not end well. But enough of this, uh, the sad things. Let's... Uh, Talk about nice ones. We had nice weather yesterday. We have a lot of rain today, but it's dry now. And they say the weather will be better in the weekend. So that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, Melissa, the book is nice, isn't it? How is the... 
Was it you that had the polar bear one? That one is nice too, but I already ordered a new Lana Green, so <laughs> I don't want to order too much books because I cannot call it that much. And I already have a lot, but I really, really like it. It's so cute. They are all so cute. All the ones in the series are cute. But yeah, you cannot have everything. That's what I'm saying to myself these days. You cannot have everything, Connie. Be happy with what you have. But it's difficult sometimes. I'm hoping I like the Lana Green book because I didn't see a real flip through. I saw some pages, but not the real uh, the whole thing. So, yeah. <laughs> and I hope I like the paper too. Loved your video about the white glitter paint, Tonya. I saw it just an hour ago, the short. It was mesmerizing to watch. You're making those uh, watercolors. And there's another funny thing. Because we are all different. Yeah, Jap Japan is really quick. I know, yeah. They are so good. And the packaging is is also most of the time really good. Well, that's my experience. I think he's getting shape, my little bambi deer. They are quick. This one uh, was a bit later than normal because it had Christmas in between. So, yeah, <laughs> that's always a thing. But normally it's also quick over here. I think the layering is helping to get a nice color. Yeah, they do a real good job. Well, I bought my Colleen pencils on Amazon Japan because that was cheaper than uh, the US or Etsy. And they were packed incredible. Normally when I get pencils from Amazon, the packaging is not that good. It's just a box around it. But the ones that I had from Amazon Japan, they were, they were protected really well. You needed a reward. <laughs> you earned it. Well, I was watching when I was preparing for my stream and, and, and looking what to color. I was watching a video from Amanda. And she was showing all her, well, let's say Asian books. And... The funny thing, what I thought was that we are all so different because when I watch Shannon on Monday, was it Monday that you were calling in April in the second book? I think it was. Um, you and some other uh, colorists were talking about the paper, that the paper in that book is so bad. And I watched Amanda today and she was saying that the second book 
had the best paper of all the books and she loved the paper so that's funny because yeah that's again um, uh, how do you say that you can see that again we are all different we like different pencils we like different paper we like different books so yeah I thought it was funny <laughs> that we are all liking different things she said it had the best paper of the book she has three and she loved the second book the most <laughs> and and you hated the paper so yeah yeah renee had one i saw it um what did you use oil pastels renee I think I saw it on Instagram or was it on Facebook? I did see it. Looked really good. I cannot color with oil pastels. I've tried. I have the brushes. Oh my gosh. They are just not my thing. I'm trying to take the color pencil off the white spots. I can make them white with paint, but I want a little bit off. Not too much color on them. <laughs> yeah, I know, Tonya. You you didn't like the paper too. Yeah, she did the same page with the brown dress. I'm back to my golden rod now. it's funny that that we um yeah it's under striping the, that that we are all different and and liking different things uh, and that's okay that's good it's the same with pencils i'm still struggling with my light fast but other people are really really liking them so yeah we all have our favorites and and Things that we don't like that much, so that is good. That is uh, also good for the um, yeah diversity. Is that a word? <laughs> no. Today, I'm my language is not so good. <laughs> I cannot find the words. I'm trying. Like I like my luminance and 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 uh, that's also not everybody's cup of tea. So yeah, not everybody likes Prisma. So. Hi, Pickle! Yeah, you said that. You said do it to Renee with the old pastels. She was saying she liked the old pastels in the book. I'm thinking I'm getting a nice color on this deer. by all the layers well I like it I'm sorry <laughs> I'm still trying I'm still trying but it's the same with all the pencils I like my Pablo's and not everybody liked the Pablo so it is it's fine it's fine we don't have to like the same things all of us we can do different things
This is the um, dark brown, so the darkest of my colors. I want to make some real shadow. Hi, Angela! You're not mad at the Pablos. Ah, uh, thank you. Angela is watching without sound. <laughs> well, I'm not saying great things anyway, so you are fine. <laughs> I can say, she, she cannot hear me, so... Sorry for my arm. <laughs> Sorry for the arm. I'm making a more shadows. Little hairs here. Are there distress ink crayons? Do you mean the watercolor pencils? Or are there crayons? I don't know. I don't know. All that much about distress things. Shadow here under the ear. So far, I'm happy with him. Um, this may be too skin colory. <laughs> you don't need them, you don't need them, you don't need them. I think this is a little bit yellow but maybe when I do it really really light the cream one Maybe it gives him a little bit of a nice glow. Maybe it's a she. I don't know. I call him Bambi. So Bambi is a he. So it's my Bambi. I don't need them. I don't need them. <laughs> I'm sure I don't need them. I have enough, enough stuff. <laughs> I know. What's this? This is dark salmon. Yeah. I don't know what color the nose is, but I do. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of pink because I just like it. <laughs> I 
I just like it. I die new, Renee, with the crayons. don't want it real pink, so I'm going over it with the camel one. I think that's doing a great job. I was um, switching between this page and the deer in Paul Brun's one. The one in the circle. <laughs> Oh, you are meaning the one that's a set of three. Yeah, you have watercolor pencils, but you have crayons as well, I think. But I'm not sure. The watercolor pencils are woodless, woodless pencils. That's what I know. I think this color is nice over the top of the rest. The camel. It's keeping away the yellow from the green, green. Soften it a little. And he has dark, dark feet, so I want a real dark one. Not a, maybe not too dark. What's this? This is sepia. I think the sepia will be good for his hooves. You are talking about the pencils, yeah. I thought so, but I was not sure. <laughs> I think Louise has, I don't know if she has all the colours, but she has some. I know she has some. I don't have them, I don't need them. I don't use my watercolour pencils enough, so... A little darker over here. Well, I have that dark pencil in my hand. A little bit more shallow. A little bit of contrast is always good. Didi says you need no, a lot of contrast, so I listen. I listen. She knows everything. <laughs> so. That's that. So now we need yellow. With a mimosa on his head. I'm going for a bright yellow. A Louise of all six sets. Yeah. Hi Amanda. I was talking about you earlier. <laughs> Good things. <laughs> Don't worry. Loved your video with all your Asian books. So this one is Canary Yellow. I hope you're feeling a little better and that your voice is a bit better. 
I think you were talking too much for that voice. I was feeling sorry for you. <laughs> I hope not, Renee. I hope not. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Maybe this is not dark enough. Maybe I need a darker one. Um, do I want it orangey or do I want it yellow? I don't know. I'm thinking this is yellow ochre. Let's see what that does. It doesn't do much. Maybe I did too much on the paper already maybe I was pushing a little bit too hard now oh, there is a little bit of color coming on but not what I want mm, maybe with a golden rod let's see yeah that's better that's better it's giving more shading Mimosa is so nice. It's so nice and fluffy. I really like it. And it has a great smell. But if you have hay fever, <laughs> it's not always so nice. sick at Easter I'm so sorry I'm glad that you're feeling better now a little bit of the bright yellow and this one is the Hansa yellow I like it I like it maybe even with a darker brown with a darker brown this is the iron oxide one. Maybe the red one. Maybe this one. This is the burnt ochre. Oh yes, that's working. That's a nice one. Why didn't I think of that earlier? This is working great. Yep. That's good. Love it. Now we need some green. Uh, I try this one. This is the. This one will be going uh, quick, am I? Because I always pick this green out, the asparagus, asparagus green. Hi, Bobini. Good morning. Yeah, he's cute. <laughs> I like him too. Why are the colors so difficult to pronounce? <laughs> Oh, they have very tiny, like feathery leaves, the mimosa. When I was little, we always went to the south of France for uh, holidays, vacation. I don't know what's a holiday, what's a vacation, what the big difference is. But, well, we went there <laughs> in the summer when there was no school. And then there was the mimosa growing everywhere. I really remember that. And I loved it. I'm going to do the green here as well. I do the glass in other color green. I like this for the flowers. And now it's in my hands. I can do that. I think I do pink flowers. I think I like pink flowers. Oh, 
Oh, you save your shaving. Some people do that with the ink tents too. I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> um, blush pink. But with the wood, uh, woodless pencils, you don't have all the wood uh, stuff in it, so that is different. I could do that maybe with my Koinor pencils that I never use, <laughs> the woodless ones. And I don't know why I don't use them, because they are really nice. But, yeah, like I said, I don't use my water my watery things enough. I need to use them more. Now I need a darker color. I have to see. Maybe the carmine reds. Carmine reds. That's this one. Carmine red. Oh. That's not a good day for you, Melissa. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Am I missing someone? <laughs> Shannon is selling things. A little bit of shading in the flowers. Well, I have enough watercolor paint, so I don't need to do things with shavings and all stuff. Oh, here's another one. Almost forgot it. Mm, this is darker because it's under the bumby. Hey, bumby. I'm tickling on your, on your, tickling on your tummy. Are you laughing? Like that. And it needs a yellow center. Internet issues, yeah, that's not nice either. We are doing well. We are doing great lately. <laughs> uh, I think we will have something soon. <laughs> as soon as you say that, you will uh, not like it. <laughs> yeah, she had three things already, so she's good now. No worries, you are good. You can do whatever you want. You are good to go. <laughs> so nice flowers a little bit more blending with a dark color they are so small i think two colors is enough to do them oh there are more here ah i missed them sorry but it's okay we can do them now yeah 
Look at the little hedgehog with the apron. So cute. So cute. Did I put a dark color? I did it back in. Where is it? Was it the scarlet red? No. And it was the carmine. So, dark color in there. What I noticed on the paper in this book is that you, it's better to do very light layers than pushing a little too hard. Then you cannot layer the colors. You have to be careful doing it light. Most of the time I'm light-handed and even now and then I have a problem on this paper. So... It's not bad, it just needs a very light touch. We have to remember that. Especially small spaces, I'm pushing a little harder. <laughs> I'm not coloring fast. I am the slow one of the slowest colorists <coughs> on YouTube, I think. I like that one a bit. <coughs> no, I'm so sorry. <coughs> I'm so sorry, I don't know what happened, but... Maybe because we had some nice days, everything is um, starting to grow and making uh, flowers and things. That my asthma and my, my hay fever are playing up a little. <laughs> yeah, Renee is the new testing channel. She has so many pencils and other stuff. Better not to watch her often. <laughs> Best not to, to watch it often. She now has the other art pencils. And I'm glad she has, because now I don't have to worry about it. I don't need them. I'm glad with these ones. I, I like them. I 
like them. And I don't like all the Yuyuri books. The two that I have is good. I do like them, but I don't need them. I'm buying less. I'm a good girl. <laughs> well, I hope I am. Do we have a thing to think about the hedgehog? I'm saying the numbers, is that not good enough? Uh, the names, is that not good enough? Do you want the numbers in the description bo box after the stream? Is that why you were talking about Boston Blackie? Because I'm saying the colors that I'm using, like this is light umber. I sometimes do it, but I don't know if people really want it. <laughs> they really want all the numbers that I'm using. Maybe sometimes I forget one and I'm using the same colors for this yellow and that. So then sometimes I don't say the numbers. But I try to do it and I agree sometimes I forget. <laughs> and I'm sorry about it. So I'm now going with the beige. Maybe it's a little bit too yellow but... I can do another color over it. Uh, yeah, this is face and a little hand. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, he has little slippers. She. I think it's a she. She has little slippers on. So cute. I wanted to try to call her feet, but then I see that she has shoes or slippers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, I need a little more the pinkish color in the face. I can do the dark salmon for the the darker spots maybe for I don't know do they have a do they have a dark nose or no mine has a pink one <laughs> I have no idea maybe they have a dark nose well mine hasn't <laughs> And this is light peach. I'm not really happy with the color of the face right now. Bye Amanda! <clears throat> oh, you are going to a restaurant. Have a great night! Enjoy! Um, this is the Bavarian cream.
Maybe that's also a nice little bit in the bumpy. It's getting away the yellow. I like that. Maybe I do a little bit more over here. I do that later. Uh, oh, <laughs> I forgot the whole arm here. Yeah. I thought she was holding a basket, but oh no. Poor thing. <laughs> and a poor thing. Morning, Kali. Back with the um, Bolivian cream, dark salmon again, making this a little more, maybe even a light brown. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one. Iron oxide. Mm, I think I do the nose dark <laughs> if it if it will go yeah I don't think they have a pink nose I make it dark brown I think that's better a little dark in the ear so cute and a little bit here the foot. What is she wearing? I think I will do something with green. The dark do I want a light? I will start light and then I can always go darker. So I think I will use lime peel and chromium oxide green. Bye Annette! Fine have a <laughs> I'm sorry I missed you. How are you? This is the line peel. That's the ribbon from the apron, I think. Because the picture is so little, I don't want to use too many colors. I already have a few. <laughs> uh, a little darker green for the shading. A 
The darker one is dark green, so yeah, it's darker. I'm using the same color for all the shading. I think that will work, it's okay. It's a small picture. Apron, apron. I do like brown shoes, I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> I keep mine in a box in the attic. <laughs> I don't know why, I never look at them. And I gave some away. Uh, a lady that didn't have, she bought her pencils one at a time, so open stock. Um, and she didn't have a big budget, so I sent her some of my empty tins that I know I wouldn't use again, so that was good. <laughs> and she was really happy with them. There is that little thumb thing, if you want to do that, then you give it a like, if you want to, and I really appreciate if people do that. Uh, this is my darkest brown, I think, my sapia, so I want to, there's some darker lines in it, it's not really... I don't think you see it, but I can see it, that there is some dark lines in there. And we will do a little bit of white. But I'm thinking about the apron. I have no idea what to do with the apron. I don't want to make it yellow because, yeah, there is already already yellow in the mimosa so cream yeah I think I go for cream ha huh, thank you Bowie <laughs> It's okay, Louise. Oh, lunch with a friend. Enjoy. Have fun. Yeah, if you want to um, uh, get rid of your pencils or something, give them away, sell them, then it is nice if you still have the tins to put them in. That's why I keep them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, well, like I said, I gave some away. But uh, most of them I have in a box and I never look at them. <laughs> so this is the green. I think that's good for the apron. Will there be dirt on the apron? <laughs> She's working in the garden. Is there dirt on the apron? Are there stains? <laughs> we have to think about that. Smudges. Oh, poor, poor hedgehog. I'm making, making fun of her. <laughs> A 
you can do what you want with them. So look at the shading. I'm using my um, light umber. I can use a, a darker yellow, but then it, I don't want the apron to be too yellow, so that's why I'm not using the yellow. Shading. So there's a little bit of dirt down here. <laughs> and maybe a little bit down here. Yeah, a little bit of, uh, of dirt on the apron. There are aprons for, I think, to have a little bit of dirt on them. Blending that brown core in with the green again. So look at me go. <laughs> and we need a little bit of grass green. I don't want to start too dark, so maybe pale green. What's the pale green? I think this one. <coughs> yeah, this pale green. Good morning, Alex. You still have, yeah, like the Queen Acrylic Pink. <laughs> Just showing you. I think you have them in baggies. <laughs> Every time I look at my spare ones, I see them sitting there. <laughs> I have many little drawers. I have those pastel boxes, the wooden ones, with the drawers. There's my, there are my spare pencils. They are in there. And every time when I need a pencil, <laughs> I see them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I remember it. I have them too, <laughs> and I think you can still order them. <laughs> we all panic. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was my fault. 
Well, technically, it wasn't mine. <laughs> I saw it in another video, but... <laughs> <laughs> you have five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all were a bit crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I want pea green. Is this pea green? No, that's apple green. This is the pea green. Thank you, Louise. <laughs> bye bye, Louise. I'm just putting the darker green in here and there. I'm not so good at coloring backgrounds, so I'm just doing something. <laughs> well, there's a shadow under the hedgehog, so that needs to be a little darker. And here under the deer. And here. But I don't want everything the same color. Fern green. <laughs> Nine extra. <laughs> I think I have four. And I think I used one, so... Extra colors, <laughs> extra colors of the luminance green acridoid pink. Oh, that came out good. <laughs> that was amazing. And he is lost in the conversation. <laughs> We're talking about backups for colors for pencils, Kenny. Spare ones.
five package. <laughs> oh, you had five. I, de I did have one already, an extra, and I was trying to buy another one, but I couldn't. They didn't have them anymore over here, so I couldn't. Or when I hear about uh, colors disco um, discontinuing, uh, I was trying, but they were already sold out before I knew that it was happening, but I had an extra one, so I'm good. I think I can do without it. But at the time with the Hurricane Queen Acrylot Pink, <laughs> there was not much pink in the luminance. I think it was before the extra colors. So there was already not a lot of pink. So we all panicked that there wouldn't be any more pink. And we all ordered extras. I think maybe the case was that nobody bought that color and they um, invented a story so that everybody would <laughs> buy extras. <sighs> well, we are stuck with all those colors. All those pencils and nobody is buying them. Let's say that we are discontinuing the color and everybody will buy them. And then the stock will be less. <laughs> I think that was the case. They, they, yeah, they tricked us into buying them. I mean, Flicking the grass in. <laughs> it's my darker color. Ah, that's so nice. Tonya is a sweetheart. Hi, Nana. Mo. Oh, I hope Teddy is okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Renee. They say I do that a lot. <laughs> I don't do it on purpose. It just happens. You can give... You can blame everything on me. That's fine. <laughs> I can deal with it. I can deal with it. They do it all the time, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm back with my lighter color. This is the uh, chromium oxide green. Well, look at him. What do you all think? Maybe I will work a little more on the D with that one color. Was it this one? Yeah. The Bavarian. Hi, Marilyn. Working and lurking, of course. <laughs> the Bavarian cream. I think I want to. Blend it in a little bit.
and like I always said, I'm not. Um, if you look at the um, colorings that are already in the book, you can see it's not all colored like it's one, like it's printed. You can see it's pencil. That's what I always say. I don't mind if you can see some white that it is looking pencil colored. So I'm still having that. <laughs> like in the deer, you can see it's colored pencil. I'm I'm okay with that. I'm fine. But I want to blend it a little more. Between the colors. And I think I need a little bit of grey in the tail. Point. Maybe a little bit of white. Like so, now I need my Posca. Is this the good one or the bad one? I think this is the good one. Ordering Rising by KK. I don't know who KK, who's KK? So a little white in the eye. Little bit in here. Oh, a tiny one. I want the spots to be white. They will pick up a little bit of the brown, but that's okay. It's not worrying me. <laughs> no, 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 oh, missed one. To be careful that I don't put my hand in that. Um, and now we need some. White. In those. Spikes. You can see that they are pointy. I need a little bit in the point of the mimosa. I like that. Can you give me a Posca? <laughs> I keep doing things with it. So look at me coloring the deer. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Hi Gloria. Nice to see you. First time in chat on YouTube. You are doing great. Uh, we can do this because I still have a little bit of time. So let's do it. Canary yellow. Canary yellow. A 
not pressing too hard. Do this one too. Oh, I'm having so much fun with this space. I think it's so lovely. I really, really like it. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, everyone. Uh, this is the asparagus green again that I used for the other leaves. I think it's my favorite green of the set. A lovely color. Well, then I have to buy another set just <laughs> for the green pencil. Oh my gosh. That's happening with my Colleen already. There's one pencil that's really short. That's when you buy something that's not in open stock. You have a problem. Now the golden rods, the shading. Back with the canary yellow. Right, Posca. What did you do on Etsy, Renee? The Etsy rabbit hole, oh. <laughs> you came out okay. Oh, that's good. A little darker in the shadows. With the uh, oxid, no, with the burnt ochre. No more dark in there. I have to do that with this, but then, oh, this is pretty dry. I can do that. A little bit more shading in those mimosa flowers. When I missed one. So, there we go. A little bit of brown on that branch. Where's my, oh here it is, eraser, my little eraser. Look what we all did. This 
to spend more on Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we do a little bit more? Is that okay with you? Or do you want me to go? <laughs> Just tell me. I will listen. More coloring. Yeah, the shoulder is feeling okay. Yeah. So far, I don't know what I feel tonight, but <laughs> it is good. Most of the time, if it's not okay, I can feel it when I'm coloring. I didn't do any coloring or anything else today, so it's not... Um, I didn't overuse it in the morning. So, well, that that's helping. The canary yellow again. There's a glittery thing on my paper. So there's a lot of yellow on the page, but <laughs> it's okay. Mimosa garden. It's all mimosa. I don't know if you say it the same way, mimosa, but... Maybe you say mimosa or something. <laughs> Let me know. Oh, it's okay. I will tell you if it's hurting. And then I will leave. One day it's better than another day, so I'm having good and not so good and really bad days. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my elbow really close to my body so that I don't move my shoulder so much. And that's helping. I find out that's helping. I'm going back with the golden rod. Bringing in some shading. Yeah, I'm trying, Renee, I'm trying, I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> but Well, I pay the price if I don't do it, so, yeah. But sometimes it's hard. Like now we are doing things in the house. I, I want to help. I don't like it that I'm there doing nothing. I don't like that. But, well. Hubby is saying, go away you. You are not alone, allowed to do that. <laughs> I cannot just sit here and watch. Yes, you can. I missed a flow at the midpoint behind the leaf. Here. I think that's the one. 
the two are talking about. Bye, Alex. Have a good day at work. Making it a yellow. They are really, really bright yellow. The wisterias are making flowers at the moment, but I don't think I have as many flowers as I did last year. I think there are less flowers in them. Especially the pink one. It's not doing it so good this year. I don't know why, but it doesn't look so good as it was last year. Hi Sue, lurking and working. Be careful that they don't catch you. <laughs> so a little bit of the dark. It's that brown ochre making the shadow a little bit darker. Not so dark, but just a little bit. Shannon, are you streaming after me or is there time in between? I have to go downstairs and start a computer there and go and make some dinner, but I will be there. So, still have a little bit of time. Um, I don't know why they have different leaves here, so that's a bit strange, I think. But it's only a colour book page, so... It's fine. Maybe they cut off all the leaves from the mimosa and... put in some other ones. <laughs> That's possible. Uh, that's different. I have to tell you that the artics are working really nice on this paper. I'm really liking the way they are going down. Really nice. Really liking it. Oh, I'll make this the same color. I don't know. So, a little bit here. Point here, I think so. And one here. So Oh, you have to go to the dentist. I was there on Monday. there on Monday. Um, I'm using this one for the other leaves, the light green, and then I will use a little dark later. It's the same color I used as the base for the grass.
Some of the things is difficult to see. Is there a leaf? Is there nothing? Uh, like here? Is there something or not? Like here, I wanna. I'm going to do one in between here. They can be a little darker. Make that a dark one. This is the um, chromium oxide green. I think this is the last thing that I will do. Just a little bit of green. Needs a little bit more work, but the start is there. The beginning is there. You have to begin somewhere. And the beginning is a good place. <laughs> I learned that in the sound of music. So, that's it for today. <laughs> um, that's my hat. Here's my whole screen. So, pencils here. <laughs> Quite a few. Uh, this was already done. Did this today, and this. So I'm I'm pretty pleased with myself. <laughs> In the Wizard of Oz, I've never seen... Oh, I'm so sorry, Shannon. I've never seen The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I love the book too. I think... Uh, yeah, and I, 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 li I like the picture. I really wanted to call it this because it is so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so this is it for today. Uh, I will be try to be back uh, next week on Tuesday. I hope it will work. Uh, so my coloring plan so far, I call it in Atlantis. Now I call it in this book. So far I'm doing good. So I see you over at Shannon, maybe, uh, maybe somewhere else. Have a great day. Take care. Thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. Bye for now. Have a great day at work soon.